He was drafted ahead of future two-time MVP Stephen Curry in the 2009 NBA Draft. But whatever happened to Johnny Flynn? Coming out of high school in New York, Flynn was a phenom his senior year. He averaged nearly 27 points per game, six assists, three and a half steals, and three rebounds. I mean, the man was unstoppable. Not to mention he was also a 2007 McDonald's All-American and New York State's Mr. Basketball. And last but most certainly not least was the fourth best point guard nationally in that class. Class, only behind O.J. Mayo, Derrick Rose, and Nick Calathis. He would garner quite a few college offers to play basketball, but ultimately ended up committing attending and playing at Syracuse University. And as a freshman for the Orange, Flynn didn't miss a beat. I mean, in his debut game, his first ever game, he would score 28 points, which would actually eclipse the prior record from Carmelo Anthony for most points by a freshman in their debut game. And by the end of his freshman season, he was averaging about 16 points per game and five assists and would actually be named as the Big East Rookie of the Year. Now, even prior to the start of his second season at Syracuse, Flynn was already getting high praise. He was named to the preseason All-Big East team and would ultimately lead the Orange to the NCAA tournament. After a win over Arizona State, where Flynn would rack up 11 points and seven assists, Syracuse would advance to its first Sweet 16 since 2004, but ultimately lose to Oklahoma. And not long after, Flynn would forego his remaining college eligibility and declare for the 2009 NBA Draft. And remember, this was a talented draft class that featured Blake Griffin, James Harden, Steph Curry, DeMar DeRozan, and many more. And with that said, Flynn would be drafted sixth overall in the 2009 NBA draft to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, of course, this was all in retrospect, but he was drafted ahead of Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, Drew Holiday, Patrick Beverly, and many more. Now, despite only being in the NBA for three years, Flynn's rookie numbers were solid. In fact, he averaged 13 and a half points per game and over four assists per game, and was actually named to the NBA's all-rookie second team. But during the summer of 2010, due to an existing injury, Flynn would get hip surgery, which unfortunately is likely the reason for his decline in production and play. And his 2010-2011 campaign was widely considered as a disappointment. He averaged just five points per game and three assists. And this led to much speculation of his departure following that season. And that is exactly what would happen in the subsequent seasons. He would be traded to the Rockets, then traded to the Blazers, then briefly signed with the Detroit Pistons, before finally ending up on the Melbourne Tigers of the NBL. Now, following that season in the NBL, Flynn would get one last shot in the NBA, joining the Pacers for the 2013 Orlando Summer League, and then joining the Clippers for the Las Vegas Summer League. And unfortunately, after the 2013 NBA Summer League ended, nothing would materialize. He would then briefly sign to a team in the CBA, the Chinese Basketball Association, before playing professionally in Sicily, which following his time in Sicily, he would never play professional basketball again. That being said, once professional basketball had concluded in his life, he would actually receive his MBA from Harvard and apparently now lives in Florida and keeps a really, really low profile.